company's called Sporttoven.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's because I do a lot of sports. Mm -hmm. and my last name is Tobin. So it became that back in 91, 92. And as an individual, do you consider yourself an artist doing business, or do you consider yourself a businesswoman creating art? Probably an artist doing business. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And how did this idea come to you? Well, you know, start a line of apparel. I've been making clothing since I was a child. Ah, I would say probably four or five years old I was making clothing. And I liked playing with fabric. And then as I grew, mm -hmm. I started doing running and running road races. Okay. And I made a very wild colored pair of tights. I mean, they had palm trees on them and birds and all kinds of things. And in a road race, a woman, you know, had to catch up with me. At the, at the end of the race, she said, I want a pair of those tights. Where did you get them? And I said, oh, I made them. She goes, you'll make me a pair. I said, okay. So wow. I knew there was a market for women's clothing. It's uh, wild prints and things like that. It's a reflective vest. You can tell it kind of has a glitter. And what yeah. happens at nighttime is it lights up when lights hit it. I've seen it in your brochure. Well, and this is the actual shirt, the vest, and that's it with headlights on it. So it's a safety feature so people don't get hit by cars. I also donated some of my older styled vests to mm -hmm. uh, the PTO, for the Jacobs School, mm -hmm. and also for the Charter School, the oh. Culture of Charter. So they, they had some and they were selling them and making some money on them as well. Fantastic. Now, do you do embroidery? Could we get some vests that, that have like a club's name on them? No, we don't That's do embroidery, but you know, there are a lot of graphic artists out there and yeah. they can do that for you, so it's really simple. It's so I don't know if this fabric can be embroidered. I know nothing yes. about yes. sewing. <coughs> this can be embroidered, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So my fabric's wick because most of my customers exercise mm -hmm. and they want to stay comfortable. So we have fabrics that wick, which means it pulls moisture away. All right. And it dries quickly. We have a lot of pink because a lot of my clients, my online clients, mm -hmm. are three day walkers. They either do the breast what? cancer three day. I was going to say, what does that mean? They, they train and they do a walk 20 miles each day mm -hmm. and they give the money to um, one of the foundations. So we also have the American Cancer Society, which we donated this year as well. Mm -hmm. And the MS walk is a three day. So they walk. You know, I think they walk 15 miles mm. each day. And the money that people give them, sponsor them, goes mm -hmm. to MS or, you know, whatever, <coughs> whichever one it is. So it's, it's a good cause. We give a 20% yeah. discount to the walkers who do these kind of events because we want to support them. That's a deep discount when you're talking about a small company like you have, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. That's very, very generous. Uh, we also have donated to the uh, Susan G. Coleman. Okay. This year we did it to the American Cancer Society, Massachusetts chapter. Mm -hmm. And then we've also done some donations to the animal shelters, the Situate Animal Shelter mm -hmm. and the Hall Animal Shelter in the past. Yep. Fabulous. And the PTOs. Everybody. Yeah, they get me. <laughs> Pretty uh, much everybody. That's wonderful. And I remember you mentioning something before we started shooting that you also donated your scraps to the schools, which I think is such a great idea. Yeah, rather than... No waste. Exactly. Rather than throwing them away, we yeah. donate them to the Jacobs School, the Art Department got uh -huh. it, the Middle School Art Department got it, mm -hmm. and then the Hingham School System also gets some of our scraps. Fabulous. Because we try to, you know, have Make zero it. waste whenever possible. I like very, that. Very, very important. Flare. And there's self like Slyker. Okay. It's a good fabric for walking, for going to exercise class. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable. It wicks. It pulls moisture away. It dries very, very quickly. I and it's got a little elasticized waist. Perfect. And it's just it's just a nice pair of pants that you can wear. Okay. Tootling around, too. So it's good for the gym. And good. People wear them shopping. People wear them to work. Awesome! Yes. Yay! And this is a V-neck. Mm -hmm. These are both Suplex Lycra. Okay. I like Suplex Lycra. It feels very soft. Yeah. yeah, but it's beautiful. Very, very soft and it's comfy. Good. You know? yep. And um, it's just a product that will keep you dry. Mm -hmm. And on the hottest of days, you'll still be comfortable. You'll be more comfortable in this than you would be in a cotton shirt because it'll awesome. dry quick. Awesome! Which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And Lycra, the stretch is, is a good thing as well. Well, I have a question about that. Um, what sizes do they come in, and if you don't have the size for somebody in particular, will you customize yes. the clothing? Yes. Okay. I go to from size extra small, which is a size zero, mm -hmm. up to 5X. Ah. 
a lot of my breast cancer walkers have, um, are on a, a drug which makes their bodies swell up. Oh, yeah. So, you know, how can you not want to have, yeah, have some clothing on them? So we go to 5X. Okay. And I have a lot of very tall people that are thrilled because I can make a pair of pants that's long enough to fit them. I see, That doesn't yes. happen a lot of the time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's pants. wonderful. So are you actually designing these clothes or are you... Um, how, tell me the process. Do you get an idea in your head and say, this is what people need, or this is what I want, and, you know, talk me through the process. Okay. Well, generally, I know I'm going to do either a short or something. Okay. So I'll Mickey Mouse a pattern up, mm -hmm. and then I will take it to a person that makes it correct. Okay. And what they'll do is they'll size it. So they'll do, they'll get the fit right, and mm -hmm. then we'll do the sizing part from extra small up to 5X because you need a separate pattern. As you can tell, that wall there is all my pattern. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. And so it goes, you know, from extra small all the way up to 5X, which is a lot of sizes. Okay. Okay. And then I have orders that will come off the web. Mm -hmm. When I get an order, usually I'll pull it from the box. I usually don't have to cut and stitch. But okay. if I do need to cut and stitch, I have my patterns. Okay. Now, when I was working with another company that I was uh, working with, I had to have hundreds of pieces made. Mm -hmm. So that work went to a factory down oh, in Fall okay. River. Mm -hmm. Everything's made in the USA, okay. but I had to have a factory make it because I need hundreds of pairs of shorts and hundreds of tops. Yeah. I'm not doing that right now. So right now we're kind of in transition mm -hmm. going from that customer to broadening to we're doing more men now. We do do men's clothing, but we're mm -hmm. doing even more men. We're starting to add children. Mm -hmm. So we're adding new styles into the uh, into the equation. All right, now how do you choose the fabric? I know you're talking about the different styles of, uh, different types of fabric. Mm -hmm. The fabric that you choose from, how does that Some work? Some of them are under here, but where they actually okay. come from is I have places in New York and New Jersey, and I'll mm -hmm. say, I need some fabric. What mm -hmm. do you have in a print? Ah. And they'll send me swatches, and then I'll say, yes, I want this, or no, I don't. Okay. Uh, a staple is black, and black, no matter how much you sweat, yeah. black doesn't show sweat. That's a good thing. Gray does, green does, <coughs> navy does, white, any other colors. I know because I've been in business 20 years that I've tried the greens, I've tried yeah. the navy, I've tried the blues, and people always buy the black. Mm. So I know that for a fact. So that's why I stick with black on the bottom. Okay. Um, not that I'm not open to it. I mean, I have had some walkers that wanted pink shorts, and I made them pink shorts. And you made that one lady palm tree leggings. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. That's right, exactly. All so. right. Anyway, so that's, that's pretty much how it is. I have to get the fabric. The reflective fabric was very, very high tech, mm -hmm. and that you had to buy a lot of yardage on. Okay. So in general, we don't do that. But with my fleece, I make fleece pants. The uh -huh. same style is just to keep your legs warm in the winter. Yeah. You know, I ran out of that in December, so I ordered probably five, six hundred yards of it because I know I'll go through it. Oh. I don't want to be down to my last yard of fleece come January. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So I make sure I have a lot of that. Do people usually buy your clothes in seasons? Do you say, oh my gosh, it's almost winter time, people are wanting to buy their gifts. We've got to have stuff stored. We have to have a stock room. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So most of the time, it's like, you know, I've had these pants for four years and it's time to get another pair of fleece. Mm -hmm. And I will have customers. I have one lady, she had a pair of my cotton lycra tights from 20 years ago. And she bought said, you know, they finally wore out, <laughs> so she had to buy another pair. Right. And I said, let's go crazy and buy two. All right, you know? exactly. And she did. And okay, she did. Good. So, And I also, you know, cut for maternity as well. Oh, good. I didn't think about it. Yeah, because when you're pregnant, you need to have a little bit more roll. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, we do, we do a lot of different things. Well, that's fabulous. Now, how much time has this taken away from your family, or is this a job that's actually giving you more time for your family because it's flexible? How does that work as a mother mm -hmm. and a successful businesswoman? Well, Jackson's school, thank goodness. <laughs> Great. Five days a week. So <laughs> I'm usually working then. Okay. But I go to health clubs and I sell at health clubs. Health club. So uh -huh. that's in the nighttime. And what will happen is he'll be with a sitter. Okay. He'll be with like one of his friends and their moms. Yeah. And so that's how that works. Okay. And it, uh, it's great. It works out. And you just do what you have to do. Everybody has a job. Exactly. So yeah. if this never happened, what would you see yourself doing? Oh, goodness. I don't even know. 
Yes, I don't know. I'd probably do something in sales. Okay. I think I'm good at sales, but I really like working for myself. Yeah. And I like working, you know, and I love working with people. I love selling people clothing. I love mm -hmm. to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that, and I really like, I'm a speaker as well. Oh, so I also do speaking. This past weekend, they had a uh, expo for mm -hmm. the, the veterans and the seniors mm -hmm. down at the middle school, and okay. I spoke. About what? I spoke about health and wellness and taking care of yourself. Great. And so I had a group, two groups. My uh -huh. first group was teenagers, teenage girls, mm -hmm. and I gave them some information on training. They were talking about doing a triathlon. Mm -hmm. And then I had seniors, mm -hmm. and so I was encouraging them about you senior know, citizens senior or seniors citizens. in high school. Oh, senior okay. citizens. Yep, older folks. Yeah. And for them, you know, it doesn't matter your age. You can still build muscle mass. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. They have 90-year-olds that they've done studies on, mm -hmm. and they've done some weight training with them, and they actually ended up with some muscle mass. Mm. So I, mean, I'm, I know weight training is actually builds the bone that is exactly. diminishing in older age. So, And I also work with children. I've been doing an exercise class with uh -huh. kids. This semester I'm not, but I'm mm -hmm. filling in a little bit. And we do a three-pronged approach. And mm. the three prongs is exercise. Mm -hmm. and kids run around the gym twice, Yep, because the kindergarten is first graders to fight obesity. Oh, so good. Then they either break into, they do uh, floor hockey or they do basketball, mm -hmm. and then the other kids do other types of games. Mm -hmm. And so um, they do that for about 40, 45 minutes, and then they get their gear together, mm -hmm. and I stretch with them. It's yoga, but we don't tell them it's yoga. Kids don't want to do yoga. Okay. So we do some yoga, yep. and then I sit them down, and I... Talk to them about nutrition. Uh -huh. So it's exercise, yoga, and nutrition. Did you go to school to learn about, uh, you know, making clothes? I have an associate's degree in merchandising, and I went to Middlesex okay. Community College. Mm -hmm. They didn't really teach me any clothing. Okay. But I did do some at Newberry Junior College. I did some clothing design there. Okay. So, but you know, I've always been doing it since I was a child. It's not like I had to go to school to become it. Exactly. You know? exactly. Okay. So I just kind of learned how to do it. Alright, and do you have a, like a favorite brand of sewing machine? Do you have to have well, one that goes through leather or... I have, I have four sewing machines. Uh, this here is my cover stitch. So it does the hem, like on this shirt here. Oh, okay, that's a cover stitch. Alrighty. This is my serger. Oh. That does the seam right here. Oh, I didn't even know that you had to have two different machines. Mm, oh yeah, more than that. Uh, okay. This is a zigzag, and it also can do a straight stitch. Okay. So, you know, like a label that went on, yep. it can go on by straight stitch or it can go on by cover stitch. And they also have to be able to stretch because this fabric stretches, it has lycra in it. Oh, so the thread itself. Nope, the thread's fine, but oh. the machine has to be able to do a stitch that will allow the stretch for the machine, the oh, tension. Oh, how interesting. Now, this machine here is my first machine, and I think I caught this when I was just out of college. Wow. And it's from the 1940s. Okay. It's a singer. It's from the Industrial Revolution. Awesome! <laughs> this is a piece of history here. But I have made, I've done some sail cover work on our sailboat uh -huh. with this. Uh, it sews through leather. It sews, it's, it, That's you can't a hard machine. You yeah. cannot kill this machine. Now, do you have to pedal that machine? No, it, it, they all, they all turn on. Okay. Wow, could you do yeah. a little sewing for us, please? Sure, but let me use another machine. Okay. This one's not threaded. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Look at that. Now, do you, do you have to do you have to make a knot at the end, or does that? No, nope, that knots it. Oh, that knots it. Look at that. So that's the that's the seam. So and professional. It can, what it does is it can stretch. Wow, that's I important. am impressed. That's very very important because it has to be able to stretch. Okay. The cover stitch machine. I'll sh I'll show you that one. Okay. Real quick. Can I get over there, honey? Jack's my helper. All right. Now, does your bobbin always have to match, or do you like to... These don't even have bobbins, these machines. Oh, wow! Tells so you what I know. Two, the other <laughs> two have bobbins. Okay. This, this one's stick. Just stitch. Oh, my goodness. That looks like it uses a lot of thread. It does. It's good to have it in the white, because you can see the contrast. Yeah. Now, with this, you don't have to knot it at the end, either? Nope. So that's a cover stitch. So that would be a hem. Wow. So on a sleeve or on a pair of pants. Yeah. And it stretches, which it has to be able to stretch. Yes. Yeah. Whoopsie. So it's um, 
They're fun. Yeah. They're fun. I have a lot of inventory, so I don't have a ton of stitching to do. Okay. Now, do you sometimes think like, all right, I have to go to a, a party this winter. I'm going to 